Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for the final card in this week's tarot story. So we close this week with the Seven of Swords. I connect the number seven to discernment or making wise choices. And swords are connected to the mind. So they're about ideas, beliefs, strategies, and paradigms. So this image shows a man sneaking through a military encampment, stealing swords. And so people can sometimes take this card very literally saying, oh, someone's sneaking around you or being a thief, right? But I like to think of it in terms of the number seven, which is about discernment, making wise choices. This guy is sneaking around, picking out the swords he wants. He's sorting through the tools that are available and picking the ones that match his purpose. And this is a really helpful moment in the, in the work of the mind, where the mind is able to identify the mindset it's picked up from its childhood sometimes, from the world around us. It's looking at all the tools, all the beliefs, all the ideas and strategies, and figuring out which ones match our purpose. We have a purpose on the planet, some tools work, some tools don't work for that, right? And so the mind is deliberately kind of going through its toolbox and getting rid of the stuff that doesn't work or works against us and picking up new tools that do work. And I think this is a really helpful card to show up, especially in this tarot story, because on Tuesday, we had the Ten of Swords, which is the mind releasing an old story, an old piece of work, an old structure, kind of moving off into, into a new story and letting the intuition sort of set it up into a new path, right? So it's really helpful. So in this time, while we're in the, in the transition, there isn't a lot for the mind to do, right? The mind has to kind of hang out and wait for the intuition to sort of surface new action steps so the mind can start creating a new structure, right? Um, so the mind can get very nervous in the times where there's nothing to do. It can think that we're stuck, we're blocked, it's wasting time, right? So what's nice to do is when the mind is, is anxious, right, you might want to look and ask, uh, what tool is making the mind anxious? So if you believe that, you know, no pain, no gain, that's a, that's a, that's a tool, that's a mindset, right, or belief. If, you, if your mind has that belief, then it's like, well, resting is too, is too chill. It's too, you know, you're, 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 there's nothing valuable in resting. No pain, no gain means you're only going to gain if you have pain, right? Well, that mindset might work for someone who's, I don't know, an athlete or I don't know. I don't like pain, so it doesn't work for me. But that, that tool might work for somebody, right? But in the case of, of you, um, who is, who's in the middle of transition, that, that mindset it creates anxiety. It's, it's an energy leak, actually. It's getting in the way of, of kind of completing a transition. So, so the mind can go, okay, which, which of these mindsets, beliefs, strategies are aligning and helping things get better, helping me be more effective, helping me accomplish what I want to accomplish, and which ones are sort of making me miserable, making me fall out of line, making me feel like tired. And um, so we want to discard the ones that are working against us. And this might be a good time to do that. Looking at where your mind um, in this time of transition doesn't have anything to do. So it's got plenty of time to sort of think and consider and time to get itself a little bit, you know, overwrought sometimes. That's a good time. It's a good time when your mind gets overwrought because you get to dive in and figure out what is the seed that is causing the problem. What's the root cause of the anxiety? And figuring out maybe it is an old tool or a mindset that, that does work for some people, but doesn't work for you. And it's time to kick it out. So that's your last card in this week's tarot story. See you next time. Bye.